Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we have our second video. So if you haven't already watched my first one for today, it is the 1.5k slash Nuketown giveaway video. So make sure to go and check that out, but watch this video first because hopefully you'll be entertained. Because today the topic is about something I would say a lot of people like. A lot of people want to see more of and want to talk about a little bit more because maybe you're confused. So let's get right into it backwards compatibility for call of duty so if you know the brand new dashboard update allows you to play some xbox 360 games on your xbox one now personally i have not tried this out yet at all i've i ha well i'll take that back i have stuck the black ops one disc in my xbox one nothing happens so if you guys have done that you know nothing happens at all and it's kind of sad you know i was really really looking forward to just playing black ops 1 but uh it didn't work so let's talk about backwards compatibility for cod if it's coming and when it's coming so first off it is definitely coming black ops 1 has already been confirmed which means probably black ops 2 will follow and you know if you've ever been around for the cod series I'm sure everything else is going to follow too, or at least the big titles are like Modern Warfare 3 and maybe Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, you know, I don't know. It is kind of older and I think they really want something that's going to sell, you know, to get their sales back up, to make people actually want to buy an Xbox One and sell their Xbox 360. So they're wanting to take those popular titles, Black Ops 1 and 2 are definitely up there and if you ask me, I like what they're doing. I like how Call of Duty, since I would say it is a big seller on consoles, especially because it's like the number one multiplayer style game there is. And you don't want that coming out with all the other cheap games. Like, I know some that are coming out are pretty good. I'm not calling all the games cheap games, but most of the games that came out with this update are games that you're probably going to play once and then that's it. So, Activision, Call of Duty, they did something big here. They know that they want to shock the public and they want something that lasts. You know, they want something that people are like, wow, let, let's do it right now. But they also have to be careful because Black Ops 3 just released. So when is it coming? I'm not sure. I, I would say around Christmas time, if not after Christmas time. I think maybe, I would say by the first of the year. I think Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 is going to be coming out because they want those Christmas sales for Black Ops 3 and they still want people to be able to buy the Xbox One. I think those two things together is what's pushing this and what made Activision slash Call of Duty want to hop on this and do it kind of their own way. So let me know what you think guys about that and now let's move on to the second topic of the video. Am I excited and what will I be playing if all the Call of Duties come back? Just this is hypothetical, every single one of the Call of Duties that were on previous gen that are not already on next gen, if they came back, what would I do? And I would have to say the first thing and something I've been wanting to do for a long time is play a decent zombies game on Ascension, Mob of the Dead, which I have been playing on the PC, so it, there's not too much of a change there, but really Die Rise. I cannot wait to solo Die Rise again. Um, I think the last time I played, I got like an 85, 86, and it just, you know, it that was a while back. That was at least a year ago, and actually it could have been further than that. But I'm just, I really want to knock out a really good solo game. I feel like Shadows of Evil would have been primed to do a solo, but I just have not had the time. I know you guys are like, you game all the time. What do you mean you don't have the time? But between playing like Battlefront now, uh, the campaign, the zombies campaign, multiplayer, trying to still keep up with multiplayer, and also playing zombies like two player 93, two player 65 maybe I think it was, and a couple of 40s here and there, and just you know having fun on the game. I just really haven't had time to sit down and play out a full solo. I've played around on the Reese, I think 26 maybe, 
And, you know, it's just been like, I just wanted to play it to play it, to say I've played it. But one of these days, like, coming up very soon, I'm just going to go in on a solo. I don't really know if I want to do Doris yet because something's wrong with the Wonder Waffle. And I just, I don't know, I can't use it anymore. Maybe someone's going to have to teach me how to use the updated one. But maybe, like, if you guys watched a couple of my previous videos ago, Kino could be coming back and I do want to make a video on that separately but I'm thinking it is already in the game and I'll tell you guys why in a separate video but this video is all about next gen playing last gen so it's a big thing I know that they have to do it because that's a good selling point for if someone wants to make the switch it's like okay I can play my old games but I still can play the new games and from what I've heard it is flawless you can play let's say we're playing Black Ops 1 you could play Black Ops 1 multiplayer on the Xbox one and actually play with people on the Xbox 360 it goes off the same servers so you could be playing on an entirely different console emulates the last gen and you're still playing with people from last gen and next gen so that's big too that means the lobbies are gonna be so much bigger because I cannot tell you how many people told me they're like yeah I sold my Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 to be able to get the next gen console now personally I didn't do that I don't like selling consoles or handhelds to a, you know a little factor I think I sold both of my PlayStation handhelds because they were amazing and the idea was there but games just did not follow so I that's just my opinions I think the Xbox 360 is never really gonna go old I think it's gonna be something I could always bring back out and have fun with no matter what it is like I can always play an older game even though the Xbox one's gonna be able to emulate it I still want to keep the hardware itself because I'm clingy like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a longer video I had a discussion in a few videos ago about longer videos and you guys said thumbs up let's do some longer videos so here's a seven minute video hopefully you guys enjoyed maybe I didn't ramble too much maybe I stayed with the topic I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video